Hi folks, Bobby Jess, best pal, has asked me to contribute towards his uh, poems that he's doing. As you can see, I know how to dress. I've got a nice shirt on, unlike Bobby. He only dresses in his pyjama top when he's doing his. The first poem that I would like to do is Vague as the Mind. It's a lovely poem written about Robert Burns. And the kind of sad thing about this poem is it was written by an old lady who stayed at the Burns homes up at the monument in Mauchlin and it wasn't discovered until her family was going through her stuff after she had died and it's called Vague as the Mind and it goes a wee bit like this I hope Vague is the mind that can he feel when viewing scenes around Miss Gill and everything a chance to see there's something that enraptures me Burns Met here in an evil lure, the modest crins and tip floor. He ploughed by day and muse by nacht, and common things he tain de licht. We read that as the nacht wore roon, he tain the road to Mauchlin toon, perchance to meet his latest fancy, a coy the crack with pussy nancy, or meet some farmers like himself. We had some roaring jokes to tell, sit with frothy beer and bannocks to closing time and all nan's tannocks till all the lave had nicht had gain. He roused himself and made for him his faith for coley at his heel. And gidden frame to rab Miss Gill and up the road, still marking rhyme and grudging sair his wasted time. The poet rested, sir dejected, where now his monuments erected. At length he reached his old firm stead, and climbed into his humble bed, in silent mood and apt decision, the master mind devised the vision. He gave to us in fluent style, the bony lass a balak miler. In what bitterness and scorn the poem man was made to mourn. He wrote about his jean, se bony, or tam a shanter in his crony, tam lewd him like a very brother that had been foo for weeks together. And oh, he made the good folk stare, berighten Holy Willie's prayer, Dr. Hornbook and his drugs, and then about the twa wee dugs. And on a cool and timorous moose, he even wrote a bit of loose that trespassed on the dainty lace before the poet's very face. Then he bade adieu with many a sigh. His brethren, oh, the mystic tie, with prospects for his future small, he bade them good luck to bewray them all where he left the coast for bleak Dumfries. But there his troubles did increase, contrary to all expectation, it proved a ruinous speculation. Disappointed man with life, responsible for wains and wife, ne all the gear to him was gain, but wore no, and died at thirty seven. The lad that ince was born in Kyle was laid to rest in pompous style, and ere his grave they placed a screed that common people canny read. But while the purple heather grows, and while the afton water flows, each year his memory we will propose our illustrious Robert Burns. Thank you, and stay safe, folks.